What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now ladies and gentlemen, I feel like a lot of the community right now is anticipating the next Call of Duty game dropping this year, obviously made by Treyarch, which is going to be Call of Duty Black Ops Gulf War. We've heard some leaks, we've heard some rumors, we've heard some things behind the scenes, but overall, I've been thinking a little bit, and yes, I am still excited to see what Treyarch can do with four, you know, years of development time. But at the same exact time, I am a tad bit worried why they are getting that time to even begin with. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, before we go ahead and dive deep, if you are interested in more content just like this, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell. We post daily here at 8 in the morning Eastern Time, mostly about Call of Duty. But of course, once x Define goes ahead and drops, you best believe we're going to be talking about that game plenty on this channel. And if you guys are interested in any of my live streams, I will be live today over on Kick, probably around 1 to 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And of course, you guys can find a link to that channel down in the description of this video. All right. So again, I want to make it very clear that this is all just conspiracy theories, right? You know, tinfoil hat stuff. I don't really think this is necessarily the reason why, but I thought it will be fun to throw this idea out there and have a bit of a discussion to see if you guys agree, disagree, and throw some other points out there to, you know, maybe come to a conclusion on why they got this time to even begin with. Now, initially, when I saw that they got four years of development time, I was thinking to myself, that they just simply deserve it, right? I mean, Treyarch has been thrown under the bus time and time and time again. And it's really sad because Treyarch is one of Activision's best development teams. I mean, even when they are absolutely in crunch time, they are still able to produce pretty solid games. I mean, if you look back at their previous ones, like Black Ops 4, which they couldn't even figure out if it was going to be a battle royale, a campaign, what they wanted to do with it, and people still thought it was a really fun game of the Black Ops Cold War now, you know, out of the past five games, even though it wasn't everybody's favorite, and, you know, we all know what they had to go through behind the scenes, Treyarch was really under crunch time when it came to Black Ops Cold War. Yet, and still, out of the past five games, there are so many people out there who would claim that Black Ops Cold War is, you know, one of the best games. So, realistically, I think a lot of the community is looking at this, and they're thinking to themselves, they just simply deserve it. You know, Activision, they've really thrown Treyarch through the ringer, and they're making up for it right now. And that's what I personally believe. You know, I really, you know, firmly believe that they just got screwed over so many times that they're just going to be granted some extra time now. And I feel like developers behind the scenes are kind of stepping up for themselves because if you don't remember, Sledgehammer refused to go ahead and be a side studio basically this time around. And they told Activision that they want a full development cycle, which is what they're going to be going ahead and getting. So I'm curious if the developers have said something behind the scenes and they're tired of the way that they're being treated. Maybe since Bobby left, they felt a little bit more confidence to speak up about these topics. But whatever it is, whatever it is, that's what a lot of people are believing right now for why Treyarch is getting so much time in development because that's one of the longest development cycles we have seen in pretty much Call of Duty history and Treyarch is getting it. But I'm going to throw something else out there for you guys. And, and uh, I, I don't know if you guys are going to agree with this, disagree with it. But again, tinfoil hat theory. I just want to spark up some discussions. I'm curious if Activision is giving them this time because all the heads have left the studio at Treyarch. If you guys don't know, you know, a lot of the top dogs who have been working at Treyarch for years and years and years since the beginning of time, honestly, are gone. They no longer work there. So the mass majority of the Treyarch development team is, you know, going to be people who are not OG goats, not people who have been with the franchise for a very long time. And honestly, probably a lot of newcomers. And I'm wondering if this is, you know, kind of the Battlefield 2042 treatment. For those who don't know what happened with Battlefield 2042, which, you know, I'd be shocked because it was so hot, you know, during that time. Because 2042 might have been one of the worst launched FPS games I've played in ages. But basically, the you know, the whole original, you know, DICE team has left. You don't have as many OG GOATs working on the game anymore. And the majority of the OG GOATs who were working on the title left literally once the game launched, which means they probably weren't that passionate during the project. They were ready to go. And, you know, also, it makes sense. Because David Vondahar also put out a post a little while ago in an interview claiming that, you know, it's hard. It's hard to keep making COD games. It, you know, when you want to innovate so much, but you can't because the franchise is so well known. It makes it rough for these developers to have fun, and, you know, it, it, that's what happens. You have OG devs who've been working with the studio for a long time. They're tired of making that game. They want to branch out. They want to try really new stuff, and either they completely change up the whole game to make it have no identity like it did before, or they just put in zero effort, and the newcomers have to put in all the work to make sure the game is polished, so on and so forth. And 
I, I'm wondering if that is what Activision is trying to avoid here. They don't want a Battlefield 2042 situation. They know that the Treyarch team is down a lot of really good developers. People who know the vision of Call of Duty. People who know what the fans and the community want. Now, I'm not questioning, you know, David Vaughn's, you know, perspective on the people he picked up or even any of the other devs who decided to pick up certain, you know, other people, newcomers into the Treyarch team. I'm not questioning them whatsoever. I think they know exactly who needs to work on these games, what they need to know, and the passion behind it to go ahead and put together a good project. But regardless, they're newcomers, okay? Uh, you know, even for me personally, if I ever learn game design and stuff like that and I just hop into a studio and I'm ready to go ahead and cook it up, you know, I'm going to be nervous as heck if all the OG guys are leaving and then it's up to us to go ahead and produce this game. You know, people who've been developing games for 10 plus years, they know the foundation. They know what to do. And now they're gone and we have to try to put it together. And yeah, they teach us. They tell us. They show us. But it's not the same as putting in the work year after year after year and going through the actual cycle, you know, and... That's what happened with Battlefield 2042, right? These guys are newcomers. They might have been told what to do, how to handle it, but it's their first freaking game. So, of course, it's going to be just a really big mess. So, hear me out. Again, I, I don't want to, you know, make anybody think I'm hating on Black Ops Gold 4 because, honestly, again, I, I'm pretty excited to see what they can put out to the community. But I'm wondering if Activision... Gave them four years, because keep in mind, that's a lot of time. That's a long development time or de development period for a Call of Duty game. I'm wondering if they gave them those four years because they knew for a fact that without the OG guys there to help and back them up, that if this game were rushed, it would be in a really bad spot. So instead of going down the path of Battlefield 2042 where, you know, you launch a game that's completely busted and you have these new developers trying to slowly yet surely bring it back to life and it's a year-long process, you know, instead of having to go through all that garbage, they decide to go ahead and just give them a four-year development cycle, which means that they need more time. But again, this is where I'm worried. If they need that much time, is that something that we should be happy about or is that something we should be stressed about? Right? Again, I don't want to worry anybody, and I know a lot of people are excited about this game, including myself, but I think it's something that is valid to think about and also to, you know, contemplate about. They have four years to make this game, but they've never had this before. This is the first time in history, and you would think that a team as good as Treyarch, where they can develop games in, you know, crunch time periods, they don't need that much time necessarily. I mean, three years they could have made a banger. Are they getting this much time because, again, they're worried that they don't know what they're doing? Is it a problem behind the scenes? Are the developers having trouble with putting stuff together, polishing off the game? Are they running into a lot of issues? I mean, it sparks so many questions for me personally. And, I, again, I just wanted to bring it up to you guys and see what you guys have to say about it. But overall, I'm not going into Black Ops Gold 4 with that idea. You know, these guys have been working with David Vaughn and other OG goats for a little while now. You know, they've been working with them with BO4. They've been working with them with Black Ops Cold War. So obviously they know what they're doing. They know how to make a Call of Duty game. But I would say that this is probably going to be the first launch that they will ever have where they don't have top dogs to back them up. The first time where they're going to have to go ahead and, you know, work on the game, drop it, deal with post-launch content, with the post-launch anger of fans and the community, probably because it will be buggy. I mean, let's be honest here. A lot of COD games drop pretty buggy. I mean, Minus Model for 3, this one actually, this was probably the best performing COD game I've had in a long time out of the past five, if I'm going to be really honest. But typically, you know, they don't perform too good at launch. You know, this is going to be their first time running through all this stuff solo without having a really, you know, hardcore veteran behind the scenes to help them and step them through this process. You know, think about it. I mean, David Vaughn was even through all the days of death threats from BO2 and the sniper. You know, these goats have been through it all. And, you know, from my perspective, if I was going to go ahead and work for, you know, a studio or work for anybody, that's who I want leading, right? I, I want someone who is very experienced leading the charge because they've been through those experiences and going without that is going to be a tad bit stressful, I feel like. But overall, I still got some faith in Treyarch. I think that they're going to do a pretty uh, good job. You know what I'm saying? Again, it, it's hard for them to miss. And I'm curious what you guys think down in the comments section. Do you think that Treyarch is going to fumble the bag with this one? Or do you think that they're going to be able to pull through? Again, minus skill-based matchmaking. Because I know a lot of people are going to say, well, the skill-based matchmaking is going to ruin the experience, obviously. You know, I hear it every single year. We already know that that is going to be a problem. But the core game itself, down to the core, do you think that... It's going to be good. Do you think it's going to be solid? Or do you think that they've been given four years because Activision's worried 
that these developers, you know, are still a bit new and they're going, you know, they don't want them to mess it up. So they want them to have a bit more time to polish things off and get it out the door correctly. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, as always, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like. If you hate it, leave a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. We post daily at 8 in the morning Eastern time. And if you're interested in any of my live streams, I do that daily over on Kick. Find a link to that channel down in the description of this video. As always, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.